Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your month ahead for November. Uh, we're going to break it down week by week. Two cards for each week, two situations for each week. Keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So this could be your energy or the energy of a person that you're dealing with. So flip-flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind it is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Gemini. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Um, thank you so much to everybody who's already subscribed. I appreciate it if you haven't already and this does resonate with you. Um, definitely check out my daily postings for the immediate future. Um, try to help you give you some guidance. Try to avoid um, try to avoid the avoidable in a negative sense. Gemini. Month of November. This is just flopping all around. Alright. Gemini. Let's get it. King of Cups at the bottom. King of Wands at the bottom. Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Aries Leo Sag. Doesn't have to be any of those. Gemini. All right, you got the Two of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, then the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, Five of Swords, Gemini, please. Card for Gemini for the month of November. Thank you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Overall healing. Damn, the bottom of the deck, you're healing. Some type of connection, something could be coming to an end here. Cycle trying to wrap up. All right, let's see what's happening. <sighs> Numbers are breaking down to a nine. Nines are an intense time. Good or bad, I don't know. All right, so it's two cards for each week, right? So I see each card as a separate situation. They probably tie together, but um, they're not one and the same. Show me this two of cups for the first week. There's a lot of love here, mutual love. This first week of November, it's looking like we have the two of cups and the page of cups. Um, could be dealing with a water sign, but the cups are all about emotions. So there is mutual love here between you and someone. Um, one card, please. One card, please. Um, <laughs> all right. So there's communication here. Somebody is probably going to come in pretty quick. Um, somebody is feeling disappointed, let down. Um, some kind of an upheaval with this. Yeah, definitely holding back, but it's like there's a decision. So, possibly there's no movement here. Uh, on one side, somebody is wanting to communicate and feeling good about that. Because um, they see a mutual love here. Why is the Five of Cups? This is disappointment, sadness. Um, so, somebody could be trying to apologize to you. Yeah, Six of Cups, soulmate energy. Somebody's done pissed you off in the past here, right? Or or kind of regretting their actions and they're wanting to come back around. Um, try to take a risk, try to try to work on things here. I'm not sure that you're going for it because it's looking like we have a page of cups over here. So it's looking like there's an apology that probably comes with this. The Emperor Aries energy. So somebody is trying to apologize. Definitely communication about a connection here. I'm not sure that you're very interested. Is this somebody feeling regretful for something? Tell me about this emperor, please. For Gemini, for the first week of November. 
Yeah, he's trying to manifest. He's trying to speak his truth here. He's trying to apologize. Um, he's making that decision to come forward. So there's definitely some type of communication here. You may be rejecting the offer, though. But somebody is definitely coming forward with one. Some type of transformation. I just seen Taurus and Scorpio energy. Yeah, there's a Taurus Cancer energy at the bottom. So something's done happen prior to this week. Somebody's done let you down and they're trying to come back around uh, and make it right. With the Emperor and the Magician, somebody is, is pretty going pretty hard to apologize here. But it's like for some of you guys, you like it's like see somebody's offering this cup of love, and then this person is just looking at it like, what am I supposed to do with that? So some of you guys may be rejecting this offer. Show me this page of wands for Gemini for the second week. We have the page of wands twice. Um, somebody kind of may have some inner issues to work on, but they definitely want to communicate and five of swords twice on the same week there's a lot of determination things are going to kind of move fast here it's like somebody is possibly like speaking their truth here not so much sure that i feel like this emperor actually uh he may not have communicated here this first week kind of a withdrawn feeling like his offer is going to get rejected and then the second week somebody really goes hard like a determined energy to communicate very fast energy um, so somebody is, is wanting something new. This person could be at a distance from you. Um, but definitely communication here that's going to come in fast. We have the five of swords twice on this week. Um, this is somebody wanting to win at all costs here. So it's like this emperor goes, goes into his mode here. I'm not sure that he really did the first week. There may have been communication, but yeah, the second week is when things are changing here. Could kind of come off argumentative here. Definitely someone at a distance. The distance could be what's changing. You're cutting out what no longer serves you here. You're making the decision. Because things weren't balanced. So there definitely could be like some, some negative conversations here. Somebody is really stressed and wanting something new. And it's like you could be rejecting them here or moving forward towards something new. But there is stress and worry around this ending. So there is communication this week, but I'm not sure that um, you're receiving it that well. Or I don't think somebody's point is really coming across the way that they're trying to get it across. Because somebody really wants something new on top of this ending. Or you could be ending something at a distance and stressing something new. Because it's like there's a beginning with that ending. But it's stressing the beginning. If that makes sense. Possibly because it's moving so damn fast. Show me this chariot, please. Somebody could kind of be acting really immature here the second week. Um, and that could have been the problem in the past as well. And they're kind of just out for themselves, kind of causing drama in and out energy. And with that, like somebody out for themselves, it brings, it brings a change. It's like, um, all of a sudden there's a distance, there's an ending and somebody is stressing some type of new beginning that's happening. Show me this chariot, please, for Gemini. This is Cancer Energy, the third week. We also have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the chariot, please, for Gemini. You guys could be traveling. Something is trying to move forward here. There's there's communication or somebody is having that realization because something is trying. Uh, once it, It's like somebody's speaking their truth here. Which they've kind of been doing. This is a big communication month, I guess, for you guys. This could be somebody having that epiphany. Show me this Ace of Swords for Gemini. The Tor, I'm um, sorry. The Empress, Taurus Energy. There's something new here that somebody is wanting. I think you're keeping that to yourself. 
something stable here, something grounded. Somebody is like seeing you as wifey or you're seeing somebody that way. And it's like they're realizing that and moving forward towards that. The Hierophant. Yeah, there's something very stable here for you moving forward. Um, very grounded. This could be something like very committed. Um, like as far as marriage as well, could be starting a family and somebody is like speaking on that, realizing that, um, show me this Knight of Pentacles for the same week. Again, not much action, but it's like somebody is, is either realizing that or they're speaking on it. Um, but we do have the chariot, so things are moving forward on the right track for a connection here. The Knight of Pentacles on the flip side of the same week, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He is the slowest moving card of the deck, but he is the most reliable knight. Um, it takes his time to get there, but when he gets there, he usually offers something pretty, pretty damn solid here. Scorpio energy. There's that same Knight of Pentacles. You're moving towards something very abundant here. Something um, that you consider a wish fulfillment. Show me this Knight of Pentacles for Taurus, please. Death. Okay, so yeah, this is a transformation. Damn, big one. You know you're... Damn. All right, we have Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, Energy. So you're on the right track towards something. Towards some type of transformation. It's like you know what you want and you're getting the strength to go after it here. Could be more than one thing here that you have to make a decision uh, about, because you're you're definitely moving towards something stable. You're focusing on yourself. Um, you're putting yourself first. You're focusing on your house, your money, whatever you're building is pretty freaking stable here. But there's a decision between multiple things. The same chariot um, that somebody has to make. But you're doing a huge transformation. It's like you know exactly what you want and you're going for it. Like you realize it. And this is a huge transformation. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. It's kind of like soul searching. Like this is a big transformation. There's a lot of abundance here for you. And you're moving forward. You're standing in your freaking power. And that's being realized. You're on the right track for whatever this is that you want here. Yeah, you're healing. You're meditating. It's kind of like you're taking a time out from the world here. Um, not a lot, a lot, a whole lot of movement. It's more like a realization. Yeah, something is trying to move forward. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you're kind of just chilling, going with the flow, focusing on yourself. You know what you want. You're standing strong in your power and you're going for it. Um, it's a lot of abundance around you, a lot of spirituality. You could be working on something spiritual, something committed, something like that. Definitely communication here. Not a whole lot of action, but... Um, huge transformation for you that I'm not even sure if you're, you know, that it's going to be visible here, but you're doing a lot of inner work and you're feeling good about that. It's putting you in a place where you're in your power. Show me this eight of cups for Gemini, please, for the last week of November. The eight of cups is, is walking away. You're walking away from something here. You're turning your back here. It's like you're making the decision what is this Eight of Cups for Gemini, please? Yeah. You're moving forward. The same chariot and we have the judgment the same um, on the same line. It's like you're making a decision to walk away from something. To move forward. It's like a sound decision. Um, I feel like you, you're, you're, somebody's a little wishy-washy here with the Seven of Cups. You could be thinking and daydreaming a lot, um, kind of reminiscing. What are they walking away towards? It's like you're making this sound decision, though. Yeah, there's just no movement. A lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating. Uh, more cancer energy, but somebody just got their back turned. There's, like, no movement. You could just be busy with other things. 
but you've made a sound decision this this prior week you've really been focusing on yourself and you're taking no action here towards um probably whatever this is that ended it's kind of like you're you're kind of just finally done with it you made a big decision here and the world is i mean the wheel of fortune is here turning in your favor Show me this judgment, please, for Gemini for the last week of November. Okay, so on the flip side, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Somebody you have a lot of emotions for here, right? This decision that you've made um, is confusing the hell out of this person. Like, they don't know how, how to handle it. A lot of overthinking this connection because they've seen it as their victory. It did make them happy, but it's like he's doing a lot of logical thinking, but no movement. So you made a decision that you're to walk away, that you're feeling pretty powerful in your decision. No action on your part. And that's leaving this shit this person confused as hell show me this eight of swords for gemini please for the immediate future yeah because you're standing your ground there's a decision that you've made and it's pretty you're pretty solid in it because this is your energy it's like this decision this was about something toxic. There's some type of co toxic communication here. And you ain't even having it. Somebody is guarded and standing their ground. And this transformation that you went through this week prior, they're not even seeing that. They're like, oh, same old shit. And that's not the truth. You're standing in your power. There you are, the queen of swords. You're very, very guarded. And this person is like you're focused on other things. You're not... You're taking a logical approach to this and you're guarding your heart. You definitely have some guards up towards this person. So it's a big month of you focusing on yourself. It's like somebody, you know, possibly screwed up probably the month prior. Yeah, you're moving to calmer waters. You're focusing on yourself. You know your worth. Slow and steady wins the race. There could be something at a distance here. But you're healing. You're, this is a big month for you of transforming. You're fed up with the bullshit. And you're doing a, a lot of inner transforming this month. Alright, Gemini. Advice for Gemini. For the month of November. Cards for Gemini, please. Gemini. Cards for Gemini, please. Thank you. This could be the one. The romantic partner you... You, uh, you already met the romantic partner you seek. And there definitely could be something really freaking solid here this third week. But it's a different person than whoever this was. Because you ended something, remember? And it's like ending something and stressing a new beginning. So you could be, you know, making a decision between two people. There could be something completely brand new here for you with the Ace of Wands as far as commitment and stuff like that. One more card for Gemini. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. That's exactly what you're doing uh, this third week. And I feel like you're doing it good, uh, like in a healthy way. You're taking your time. You're, you're building yourself up. You're focusing on yourself. You're feeling strong in your power. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And you also got flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Last one, um, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. All right, Gemini, I hope this helps. Hope this resonates. If so, please make sure you like and subscribe below. 
You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.